Hello all, uh, welcome to the new video of signals and systems. In this video and in the next couple of videos, we will be solving problems related to diodes. That is what happens when diodes are in series and what happens when diodes are in parallel. What is the current through them and uh, what is the voltage across them. So we will see all those things. Okay. So since I had uh, after uploading the video on tunnel diode, my students were asking uh, some questions related to diodes. So what I did, I thought of uh, picking few questions, tricky questions, and solve them. So that after watching this video, my students will get a fair bit of an idea as what's going on actually. What is reverse saturation current? You'll understand everything. Okay. So I have picked few questions uh, pertaining to that. So let's start from this video. So I'll be picking questions from gate, okay? Previous gate question papers on electronics and communication related to diodes. So the gate examination is coming up. So you can refer this as well. Those who are attempting this time. So let's start now. So here is the question. In the circuit given below, the current voltage relationship when D1 and D2 are identical. So they are asking what is the current voltage relationship? This IV, what is the relation between these two? We need to derive an equation when D1 and D2 are identical. And they have to assume germanium diodes. So if you can see here, there is a voltage source uh, with voltage V. And two diodes are connected to the voltage source. And if you observe carefully, D1, the positive is connected. D1 of uh, the positive of D1 is connected to the positive terminal, and negative of D1 is connected to negative terminal. So initial observation is D1 is forward biased, and D2 is reverse bias ok so that much we are aware and uh, there is a current denoted by i so this i as you can see d1 and d2 are in parallel they are not in series so this current will split some portion will go into d1 and some portion of it will go into d2 ok and Observe carefully, if you had observed my previous video on reverse saturation current, you will know that the diode which is in reverse bias doesn't conduct any current in the forward bias. Okay? However, in reverse side, it will conduct some current called as IO. So, let's see the question. In the circuit given below, what is the current voltage relationship when D1 and D2 are identical? So we have to assume these are germanium diodes. That is, those diodes are made up of germanium, not of silicon in this case. So D1 and D2 are identical. So if you can just record the initial observations, so that would be initial observations so what happened d1 is forward biased and d2 is reverse biased and one more thing both this d1 d2 are in parallel okay you can see it is in parallel so they both are connected to common voltage source with supply voltage of value V. So it will generate some current I. There is a voltage and then you connect across it, it will form some current into that. So we need to derive a equation based on this I and V. What is the relationship between I and V in this particular question? So as you can see D1 is forward biased. So basically it will have more current, it will take more current because uh, this current path 
since it is in parallel it can see a less resistance over there so it will push more current over here that is the initial observation and very negligible current will go into D2 so as we, uh, we have seen uh, the current conducted by reverse biased diode is called as re reverse saturation current okay because a diode in reverse bias condition will not conduct any current the only current which it conducts is reverse saturation current so but as we all know kcl holds okay kcl is the basic voltage law so what happens if you had seen my reverse uh, video on reverse saturation current you know that a very negligible current called as I naught will flow from negative to positive. Okay. So as you can see in this diode D2, this is the positive terminal, this is negative. Okay, this current uh, diode is in reverse bias now because the positive is connected to negative and negative is connected to the sorry positive is connected to the negative and negative is connected to the positive. So what happens? It will conduct some current called as reverse saturation current. So let's denote it as I naught. Okay. So let's call this uh, the current connected by D1 as Ix. For now, we know that applying basic KCL. So what happens is this I naught plus I X is equal to I. Okay. So we are here now. So let's see what is I X. It is a, with simple diode equation we can get what is the value of I X. So the current through the diode is given by I is equal to I naught e raised to V1 or V upon beta Vt minus 1. Okay. Minus 1. So this is a general equation. Don't confuse this I with this I. Okay. Where Eta is the, it depends upon the property of the semiconductor. For germanium it is 1. And Vt is given by K into T by Q. So T is equal to at 300 Kelvin. K is Boltzmann constant. And Q is the charge of an electron. And I naught is the reverse saturation current. So if you just uh, refer the sheet of a diode, so you will get to know what is the reverse saturation current. And Vt can be calculated easily by Kt by Q. So all are known. So and then what is that piece? Eta is equal to 1. For this diodes you can easily assume Eta equal to 1. So all things are in place. So with simple substitution as you can see in the forward bias condition this is the current through the diode. So we will apply that over here. We will get Ix as I naught is the reverse saturation current and E raised to this is the V voltage across the diode. This V is voltage across the diode. Okay. Voltage across diode. So that is V.
and eta is 1 here so we will ignore that 1 into vt minus 1 this is ix so in this case i is equal to ix plus i naught so we will replace ix here in this equation we get i naught into e raised to v by vt minus i naught plus i naught so this and this will get cancelled so this you put into this so we get i is equal to i naught e raised to v over vt so this is the final equation so if you want to make it uh, simplified further uh, we can do that so just apply log uh, this sign not you send it over here and apply natural log on both sides so what will end up so will it end up with v is equal to at by q lan of i over i naught so this is the relationship between this voltage p and current i so we know this value and uh, we know the value of i naught as well so we can easily calculate if we know what is the voltage across these two diodes which are in parallel then we can get to know what is the current through this and then you can calculate uh, accordingly okay what is the diode through the d1 and d2 if you are in lab you can uh, try this experiment and then you can use these formulas to get the theoretical and match with the actual values okay so thanks for watching uh, we will solve few more questions related to diode in the coming videos thank you